<laughs> Hi guys, welcome to another video from Hustle is for Life Motivation. This is the channel where you come to actually upgrade the software that exists between your ears. And uh, you come here because you believe, like I do, that you are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. And just like me, you also believe that if you had access to the right people, if you had the right sort of people in your life, then you could actually slingshot yourself ahead of everybody else and actually literally go light years ahead of other people who are not actually surrounding themselves with the right people and who are still stuck in that paradigm. They're stuck in the boxes. They're stuck in the hamster wheel, just going round and round day in and day out. And you're somebody who actually has a growth mindset. You want to break that paradigm. You want to see what else is out there and what's really, truly possible for you. So my job is really simple. My job is to actually bring on amazing people who are doing amazing things. So you can actually start to see what's really, truly possible for you and how you can make an impact and use your your special superpowers and talents to the very to become the very uh, very best ver version of yourself but also to actually give back to the community to your society and this is why we are here now today i am joined by somebody really really special um, Today I'm joined by Tracy Scott, somebody who I interviewed right at the beginning of when uh, we, we started this whole Hustle is for Life motivation thing back in January of 2017. And she is yeah. just amazing. Like this lady is so full of energy. She's so positive and she's always willing to help anybody and everybody with whatever they're struggling with. And uh, I believe that uh, I, I, I've, I've done a previous interview with Tracy, by the way, in case you know you haven't seen that before. So please go and check that out. The link will be below in the description. But the fact is, at the end of that interview, literally, um, I looked back, I reflected on the whole thing, and, and I said, you know, on, on the actual video that, you know what, I wished I had actually met Tracy before, and I actually had asked her to be my mentor. And since then, she has Aww. actually been on a tear. She actually worked through some really, really difficult stuff in her life. You know, um, she uh, had some really serious health problems and uh, she worked on those. She also went through a very challenging and toxic relationship. She worked through that and then she actually decided to, you know, follow her dreams and become a personal trainer and a coach, which is something that she always wanted to do. And since then, she's actually just been absolutely crushing <laughs> it. She's got her own business now. She uh, is actually, um, you know, working on collaborative projects with several other people. She also has um, a kickboxing class, which has uh, got a really cool name, by the way. It's called Chickboxing. Uh, <laughs> awesome. <Yeah>. And... <laughs> She's actually training her clients and getting really solid, concrete, measurable results, okay? And that's what matters, right, guys? That you, you can't argue with results. It's all about getting results, okay? And I strongly believe that there are two types of people in this world. People who have results and people who give excuses. So either you're somebody who has excuses or either you're somebody who has results. And... Tracy's been on a tear. She's been just producing results all over the place. She has personally helped me with my fitness uh, routines, fitness regime, and uh, you know um, other uh, kind of challenges that I was facing in my mindset about my fitness goals, etc. Mm -hmm. And also the fact that recently I have signed up to a boxing tournament uh, to raise money for cancer research. And my first point of contact was Tracy, because I was just like, if I need somebody to give me pure, genuine, solid advice about how I can actually make sure I, um, I'm, I'm fit for that, that I'm actually able to go and compete at the highest level, then I need to get in touch with Tracy. And she gave me some really good, solid advice. She's also been um, on a nutritional course. So she's now a qualified nutritionist as well. And <laughs> I'm sorry. So she is actually building her profile. She is actually the kind of person that I would highly recommend you to reach out to if you're somebody who actually is either struggling with anything to do with your health, your fitness, you need to maybe just upgrade your training. Maybe you just need some tips on how you can, you know, um, get mm -hmm. that, get to the next level. So if you're somebody who has any of those uh, kind of, uh, you know, issues or, or somebody who is not sure about where to start or what to do, then Tracy is definitely the right person to reach out to. So without much further ado, please help me in welcoming 
Tracy Scott. Tracy, thank you so much for taking the time to be here with us. I really, really appreciate it. <laughs> Sorry, I have a cough. <laughs> thank you so much for that. So thank you for your introduction and for taking the time for having me here too. I appreciate it. No, I, it was, it's my pleasure. And, uh, you know, I, I know that we had the first interview in January 2017, uh, you know, earlier this year. And since then, yeah. you have made so yeah. much progress. And uh, I, I think it, it was... Uh, it was something that I was thinking of just, you know, just having you back on just so we can just have a bit of a catch up. But I know that you're also going to add mm -hmm. so much value to uh, the audience and, to, and to, the, to the people who are going to be watching this that it, it, was, it was a no brainer there um, as well. So seriously, thank you so much for yeah. being here. Awesome. Awesome. Um, okay, so shall we um, start? <laughs> Sorry, this cough's really bad. Um, it's okay. <laughs> yeah. Should we, let's start from the beginning. Like, <clears throat> let's start with a bit of a catch up. Like, <clears throat> sorry. Sure. What, I mean, at the time in January where you were, I mean, you had just started your business, you were working on different things. Um, yeah. On trying to grow that business and, <clears throat> sorry, get more coaching clients. But now you're in a position where you have a lot of clients and you not just that, you're working on so many other collaborative projects as well. So if you don't mind just yeah. digging a little bit deeper yeah. there, I think that's really quite exciting stuff to talk about. Sure. It, it's been interesting. And I think it's, uh, it's always a good lesson for everyone to just be open to opportunities that might present themselves, that mm. you always keep in mind where it is that you want to go, but be open to something that might come along and, and kind of help you accelerate that path too. Because I think that's really key to, to watch out for those things. So when we spoke in January, it's, it seems like it was so long ago, but it wasn't really that long ago. Yeah. Um, we, I think we finished off, we were talking about the course I was working on, because I was really excited about the online course with yeah. the reading of the two books and everything. I know you're working on one as well. And it's really, it's taken a bit of a back burner in, in a way. It's just been the partner that I'm working on with that. It's just been really busy with some other things that were, I think, a little closer to being ready to be produced a little faster than mine. Mine was a little bit more involved, I think, with doing a lot of video production and things like that. Yeah. So there's been some progress and yeah. we've done the introductory video and he's quite happy with where we're at but we're just we haven't progressed very quickly which which has been great in some ways because i think i'm actually much more better prepared six mm. seven months down the road than i would have been if we had launched it right then and there anyways so because what i've been able to do is really just dig in is really what i've been doing is just kind of grinding it out at really the base level so i would i just started with a couple of clients at that point in January. So I, I got up to about five personal training clients that I was spending time with, usually twice a week, where I was going to their home. And it just gave me a lot of time to just really dig into how to make a program for people based on their own goals. Two of them were couples. So it was interesting oh, trying wow. to put a program together where they could work out at the same time, yeah. but still have their individual goals, yeah. yet do something similar. So they were still learning from each other, th things like that. So it was a bit interesting to try to tackle that. And at the same time, I have, was doing, I, well, I'm still doing it, but started working with Chickboxing. So that was a company you mentioned before. So yeah. Chickboxing is a small, yeah. another small business in the fitness industry that I happen to be fortunate enough to have found a job with. It's a part-time thing. I call it kind of my side gig that I absolutely love and I would do it for free, but she pays me. So it's even better. Awesome. Um, and it's really just, it's awesome. a, a women's only kickboxing studio type of clubs. So she's got a number of locations around our part of Ontario. We're about to expand into another one in September, hopefully, that I'm going to take over with. So I've also been digging into that. So learning how to teach in a group fitness class with something that's very specific. So that's been, um, it's been a learning experience for me on both fronts in, in a huge way, just to be able to talk to, you know, one-on-one -on -one clients mm. versus a class of 25 people where it's completely different, yet still teaching them technique and complicated moves. So it's been really, like I said, just digging in and getting really good at it. So um, we were talking a little bit when just before we went on the air that um, eventually I did lose some of those PT clients, which was fine. It was just some were fine. It's a summer surgery, things like that. And it was actually, you know, you're, you're kind of upset a little bit about it. because You're like, oh, there goes a big chunk of my income because I was just starting out. But I just took it as an opportunity to say, hey, look, I've got some extra time on my hands right now. I started doing more work for Chickbox Things, was able to make a little bit more money there, which kind of offset losing some of that. But then I, I had in the back of my head, I knew I wanted to do a nutrition course and I just stepped it up up a few months, more, more likely. I don't know when I would have actually started. I just said, hey, look, I've got the downtime. I'm doing it now. Mm. Nice. It's something I know is the next step for me. Nice. So nice. that's where we're at at this point. Wow. Brilliant. <laughs> nice. Brilliant. Yeah. 
and the thing brilliant, is like it brilliant. seems to be like a and the thing is like bit of like a, a theme a with you where you actually have you go through a difficult patch or you something you know bad happens and you're always trying to turn it around into something positive and you always try yeah. to see how you can yeah. actually you know get something um you know get something positive out of it how you can build yourself up from it and i think that's sure. really really powerful really really strong and i think people need to hear that maybe a bit more of it maybe you can dig a little bit yeah. deeper like how how you're able to achieve that sure. because it's i think a lot of people yeah. struggle with that like you you face some yeah, difficulties and right. adversity and then you either just give up or you break down or you stop and then you yeah. you know that's yeah. it like you don't make, you keep carry on going but you definitely are somebody who um, are, is able to, you know, kind of have that mind shift and actually turn things around, yeah. which is really powerful. Yeah. So, I, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think for me, and it's something I was just, you know, that I do a basically a guest blog every week for an online community that we're both part of. Oh, yeah. And I was writing about this yesterday. I'm saying, I think a lot of it is knowing why it is that you're doing this. It's, you know, know your why. And for me, I know that ultimately what I would love to have is a my own studio. It part, probably is part of my own property, so wherever mm. I live, where people are coming to me for personal training as well as group classes because I'd like to continue with the kickboxing classes because I really love it. I love the whole women-only aspect. It's just, it's a whole other story that we could actually do a whole podcast on right there. Awesome. But um, so, I'll, so to make that scalable so that I can do it, I really do have to shift where people are either coming to me or I'm doing more coaching from an online perspective. So while it was great to have those one-on-one -on -one clients, hmm. it wasn't very time efficient because I was having to drive 45 minutes each way to go see one. I was driving half an hour to go see another one each way. So it takes a lot of time because you're also, you know, you're only with them for 45 minutes to an hour, but I'm also prepping for them, figuring out what they're capable of doing, putting their programs together. Sometimes I'm even putting playlists together just because I think it's interesting to have music there nice. and just getting, trying to think through that. So it's a lot of prep time and it comes out to, you know, it's a lot of work for a small amount of money at the end of the day. Mm, yeah. So I just said, you know, I always try to turn those opportunities. And go look, it's I've got this time. This shift is happening. So where is it that I want to get to? I want to be online. Okay, so that's great. Let's lose the clients that are taking an hour for me to get to, mm. and put that effort somewhere else. It's going to get me further down into doing an online business, anyways. So that for me, it was a simple no-brainer was to start the nutrition course now. Nice, nice, yeah. awesome, awesome. Uh, can you maybe also just talk about your mindset behind? you know, all of this, like how you're able to take something negative in your life and whether that was your own personal health problems, the relationship, yeah. you know, losing clients, um, you know, starting a you know, business yeah. in itself can be quite difficult as well. Um, how are you able to just like turn all of that around? Like, you know, what is your mindset? How, how would you actually maybe um, like deconstruct it for, for the people who are actually watching this? Sure. Well, I think... I, I would hope that most people watching probably already have or at least the startings of a growth mindset. Mm -hmm. So they're open to knowing that things are not set in stone, that you can learn skills. And I think that is a skill in its sense is learning how to take something that either doesn't work the way you thought it was going to or was horrible, whatever it was, whether someone gets sick and whatever it is. And to be able to say, hey, look, that's just part of the process. And again, it, it's not easy. It gets easier the more you do it. So that's why I say it's like a skill. You just have to learn yeah. to to reframe it. That's yeah. part of having a growth mindset is reframing it to say, what is the opportunity in this? And you know, you're going to have your moments. You might break down and cry, whatever. That's fine. Do what you got to do. Yeah. But don't spend too much time there mm. if you can. So that's part of it. I think it just gets easier and easier and easier the more you do it. I think sometimes if you've had some really, probably maybe some big things happen, you've alluded to some of those things before, you have some tough stuff you get through, it just makes you stronger and it's e easier. I almost don't even see them as negative anymore. I kind of went, oh, it saves me a lot of time. I don't have to get up early now those mornings because I was really tired after teaching boxing the night before anyways. Yeah. So I'm just gonna get some extra sleep now, recover a bit better and do my course instead. So I don't even think of it that much as negative. Now I'm in a situation where I can afford to do that. Yeah. That doesn't always happen for everybody. Yeah. So pick your battles. It's not, I don't have to worry about paying rent right at the moment. So that's fine. So I'm able, it frees me up to chase things a little differently. Awesome. And that just is what it awesome. is. So it's, beautiful, beautiful. Um, yeah. do, you, do you have any particular routines or practices that you employ to kind of help you, you know, maintain that growth mindset, but also to, you know, yeah. be able to perform at that peak level 
where you're constantly actually going there and, and just crushing it and, and then, you know, making sure that you are sure. getting solid, tangible, concrete results. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think my routine, it shifts periodically. I think, you know, in the past with personal development, I've been more of a routine where I've done it probably a little more full on every day. I think I do it a little bit differently now. So I tend, I still watch podcasts, probably not as many as I did before. I'm much more selective about what I spend my time watching now. And there has to be something I know it's probably going to be some pretty good quality for me to spend 45 minutes to an hour. I think, I think, I know, you know what I'm saying there is I don't want to waste my time on too much of it now because I think the more and more you're doing it, the more you don't need to hear some of it anymore. I want to hear some of some other stuff that's going on out there that's beyond some of the basics now. So, yeah. it's, um, so I'm very yeah. careful about where I spend my time. So I try to spend it either maybe watching a podcast, maybe reading a little bit on some self-development or whatever it is. A lot of times I'm also just reading through my newsfeed. I'm, I'm looking through my newsfeed, not just to see what my friends are doing, but I'm getting a lot of information. I'm tied to a lot of fitness groups hmm. and some really good groups like our, like our online community that we're part of. And it's really, there's a lot of information out there hmm. and it's, but there's also a lot of help too. I don't have to be an expert in all of it. So I've got some great resources that I can go to and say, Hey, look, I'm having this technological problem. I don't know how to fix it. Can someone help me? Yeah. And it's just trying to, yeah, so I'm kind of craft, you know, searching my way through. I'm looking at it for content for my own site, things like that. So I think, I guess what it is, so a lot of my morning is really spent around developing myself, mm -hmm. whether it's through developing my mind, through podcasts, or I tend to do my workouts in the morning as well. So that's time I definitely put into looking after my physical part, but it also looks after my mind too, because they're one and the same. So that's a key part. And then what I'm really finding lately over the last couple of months, and it coincides with the kickboxing because I took on teaching two classes mm. a night, every night that I go instead of just mm -hmm. one. And, that, and I was telling you before this, that, you know, the fact I'm not 26 anymore, that I'm 46. I'm starting to listen to my body a little bit more and give it the chance to recover more because it was demanding that I, I was starting to get to the point where I was getting sick quite often. And um, I'm just finding now I'm just letting myself get a little bit more sleep, going to bed earlier, letting myself sleep longer. Nice. And just now that with the nutrition of course behind me too, I'm just really trying to focus a little bit more on feeding my body with fuel that's good for me. Because I think all it's all those things. It's having that routine that kind of progresses you towards your goals with working on your business, working on yourself, working on your body, whatever it is. But it's also looking after yourself in the background too. So I make sure I've got time for self-reflection through yeah. the day or for you know, yeah. just some brainstorming because I find it, it's almost like my form of meditation. It's my drive back and forth, whether I'm going to Bracebridge to see my boyfriend or going to Barry to go to work. It's about a half hour in the car and I've just got some good tunes on. And I usually can kind of get into a little bit of a flow. I think it's a little bit like a flow state. And I usually figure out a lot of stuff at that point, whether, you know, whether it's this course I want to take versus this one, things like that. So I'm able to progress a lot of things by just taking some time for myself every day. Awesome. Awesome. Which I, I think those are all basic things people can do, whether it's meditation and a true form of, you know, sitting and wh whatever it is you want to do. It's uh, just car carving it. You have to carve out time for yourself to look after yourself during a day too. Otherwise you're no good to anyone else. Yeah. But, you know, I'm coaching a, a ton of people every week too. What I've, you know, I've got 20 some odd people coming to each of my classes. That's four classes, four to five classes a week. I'm talking to those people daily as well too, coaching them along their journey too. So it's, um, it's a lot of energy going out. So I have to look after myself in the background as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's that's very true. And yeah. I think what you what you said there was really powerful. And people, you know, if you're watching this, I think this this is quite important that that you actually, um, you know, get the fact that you need to work on yourself. Sure. Otherwise, okay. you're no good to anybody mm -hmm. else. This is exactly what Tracy just said. Okay, you need to work on yourself. Otherwise, you're no good to anybody else. So it's very, very critical that you do take some time out and spend it with yourself. Yeah. Spend it on developing yourself. And Tony Robbins yeah. says, actually, if you can't actually spare 10 minutes out of your daily routine, out of your daily life to spend on yourself, you don't have a life. That's right. Yeah, and I think that's very, very important. It's a um, big one. Yeah, yeah, it really is. It is. We, I, it's, it's a bit of a, it's a bit of a point with me that I find people just they're so there for everyone else, mm. and I get it, I get it, but if you don't look after the body running around behind all that stuff, it's just it's going to crumble at yeah. some point in in whatever way it comes out. It might not be physically, it might be mentally, whatever it is. 
Yeah. You're not at your best, you're not whatever it is. You're not living your dream or pursuing your own goals. You're chasing everybody else and looking after them. So it's a, Yeah, yeah, very true. And the other thing you touched upon was the fact that, you know, there's a mind-body connection, right? Yeah. So it's really critical that you are developing yourself both in terms of your mind and also your physical health, okay? They yes. have a very strong connection and, and they, they actually help each other, they complement each other. So if you really want to perform at peak level like Tracy is doing at the moment and just crushing it every single day, okay, and really mm -hmm. getting tangible and, and concrete results from your life, then you need to develop your mental health and you also need to look after your physical health yeah. as well. There is a very strong mind-body connection. You can look, you know, if, if, if you're interested, you can go and explore uh, further uh, into this. And, you know, one place I will direct you to is impact theory. You know, the YouTube channel um, yeah. and the company now that is run by Tom Bilyeu, who's the president of Quest Nutrition. And uh, he is all about mindset, growth mindset. And he brings on some amazing, amazing people. Uh, yeah, just absolutely mind blowing stuff. Yeah. And I will highly recommend you guys to go and check that out. I mentioned it before a few times as well, um, but I will highly recommend that you guys go and check that out because once you know how you work, once you know, you know, what's really, you know, how far you can stretch yourself you know how you can mold yourself how you, your mind is malleable then a lot of stuff which yeah, you think completely. is absolutely impossible for you suddenly is possible and you just have some major yeah. mind shifts right there yeah and it doesn't even matter which one you tackle first because they both help each other it's kind of like which came first the chicken or the egg it doesn't even matter mm. if you're doing physically moving your body you're releasing hormones and all kinds of things that make your brain stronger if you're doing some self-development or building new habits, even if it's around nutrition, fitness, whatever it is, you're creating new pathways in your brain, which make your body work better. So it all ties into each other. So never think you need to do one before you do the other. Just start working on one or the other or both, and it helps the other. So it's a, yeah, makes it sound so simplistic, but it's it's they're so inter interconnected, you can't really separate them. Mm, yeah, very true. Very, very true. Yeah. And, uh, you know, the fact is, it's by through personal development what happens is like you know whether you're working on your mind or your body or both the fact is you start to progress and as you know when the tide rises it, it raises all the boats and the ships with it and this is something that i learned from somebody um mm -hmm. from my last interview um who is actually a, a men's relationship coach and he said that you know i actually coach men to just work on themselves and by working on themselves, they're mm -hmm. then able to have, you know, amazing relationships, really thriving, blissful relationships with their partners. And it's like some of the testimonials that I get from, you know, their their actual partners and, and their wives, their girlfriends, etc., uh, are amazing because they're just like, you know, I don't know what you've been doing for the six weeks, but it's magic. And all he does is... Absolutely. Yeah. All he does is, is actually just, you know, allows men and helps them... And, and coaches them to work on themselves and develop themselves. And it's all just personal development. And, you know... Oh, he's doing a kick-ass job about it, too. Yeah, yeah. I know exactly what you're talking about. So. Oh, do you? Oh, okay, fantastic. Awesome. Yeah. Fa fantastic. Yeah. So, yeah, I follow a lot of his work, so it's... Uh, beautiful, beautiful. So, yeah, he's, he's, yeah. he's actually, again, getting, you know, concrete, tangible results on that, but through working on personal development. And he works on, you know, personal development, both in terms of, uh, you know, your kind of mindset but also your physical health because he does trust that you have to go you know move your body do some exercise get that you, you know, have to pumping. yeah if you don't move your body you're not going to be here to live in it anyway so it's you got you got to take care of the shell you've been given hmm. and uh if you don't use it you lose it so awesome it's as simple as that. So it's, if you don't, if you don't want to be, you know, using a wall, you know, everything is one of the first things I've read in my course when I started taking it was that our whole decline that we have metabolically and physically through aging isn't normal. Mm. It's because we become very sedentary and kind of don't look after ourselves. The things we were just talking about that that happens. So I'm, so firm a believer that we don't have to have this decline. Yes, you're fighting some things. It's certain hormones you run out of and things like that in your body. So yes, that's going to be an issue. But if you do strength training and do things, you can fix those things. Mm. So we don't have to have that. That aging doesn't have to look like us getting decrepit and can't move. Yeah. You know, so like we need to start. So we need to start moving because we don't. Have, that doesn't have to be our normal. 
Yeah, yeah. Because that normal sucks. It hurts. Yeah. It's limiting. You're not doing the things you want to do. You're sitting around doing nothing because you can't. Mm. Yeah, yeah. And it it's, yeah. it's, uh, reminds me of, our, again, a Tony Robbins quote where he says, motion creates emotion. Yes. Yeah. Yes, it does. Yeah. Motion creates emotion. Tony's a brilliant man. So it's... <laughs> <laughs> He's a very wise man. Yeah. Yes, he is. Yes. Yeah. Awesome. Well, yeah. I think... You know, the the mindset thing we've just been discussing is really, really powerful. And I really hope that people who are viewing this are actually go and take action on it. And I also strongly, um, you know, urge you guys to go and reach out to Tracy. OK, because um, start a conversation. Anytime. Because she is so open, so, so giving and so helpful. And I'm sure that just by connecting with her, you're going to find a whole lot of value. Um, so awesome. Right. Let's take it in a slightly different direction. Um, let's. Sure. Can you maybe, um, you know, talk to us a little bit more about how you coach your clients and what sort of workout routines you employ and how do you get them moving? Like, yeah. for example, people who find it really difficult and they might be stuck in a mindset like, I can't, I can't do this, I can't achieve this, or like, this is beyond yeah. me, or I can't push myself, um, you know, past this point, like, how do you work with those guys? And, you know, what kind of advice do you give them? I think that's all really, like, you know, useful stuff yeah. for, uh, for people who, who are going to be watching this. Yeah, I'm trying to figure where to even start, because there's almost two types of people within there, too, because there's the people that you're talking to, that say they're interested but then don't commit to moving forward with you versus those that do so there's something different between those two people and i think it's probably just maybe they're more at a point where they're willing to say they need some help like because i always say this you don't have to be an expert in everything there's so much information out there let someone who's actually taken some time and spent some money invested in themselves to become a little bit more of an expert around that help you guide through until you're at a point where you can do it on your own um now i completely forget where i was going to go with that too be completely honest. This is the okay. effects it's, of that post-concussion right. syndrome. You completely lose your track of thought sometimes. That's okay. You, but, you were talking um, about two types yeah, of people. Yeah, you need to pull me back in a little bit there. Yeah, yeah. No, that's fine. You said you were talking about two types of people. Um, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. So how to coach them. So I think those those that commit, I think, are obviously the ones you're going to work with. So those are the ones I, I'm going to talk about. So I think it's, for me, the key part is meeting them where they are. Uh, I can't stand up on a pedestal and say, well, this is what you need to do to get to this point. I need to talk to them and find out where they're at and find out what their goals are, whether they're short term or long term. Sometimes they can't articulate it as a goal, but it's just getting into their head a little bit and just finding out what they like to do and kind of where they want to get to. So a lot of times with someone new, I can usually assume they don't have a lot of experience doing any strength training. I do like to spend a lot of time doing that with people because I think it's important. So I usually just have a pretty general body weight routine that I'll put people through okay. for the first training session. And so uh, it depends on how well I know the person going into it. So if it's someone like my parents, I know them fairly well. So I know what injuries they're dealing with versus someone I might not know quite as well. But it's basically, so it's just really trying to assess their movement on basic mo movements like lunges and squats and, you know, can they flex their hips and just seeing some of their flexibility. Do they have any balance issues? Do they have any issues with previous injuries? So just to get a sense of are there any limitations? And it's kind of like I said, I do some work with them too to find out what their goals are so that we can say, where are we going to start? So again, most of my clients that I tend to find myself working with at this point are beginners. So usually what I recommend to them is that they start trying to do like a total body strength training program at least twice a week yeah. as a place to start. Cause otherwise they're just going to be too sore beyond that. So it's really just trying to target all the big muscle groups and just start really getting them used to moving hmm. in a way that your body yeah. is designed to move, whether it's flexion, you know, extension, all those kind of things. They don't need to know all that stuff, but just getting them moving through those motions and just getting them kind of used to what I always call feeling, un feeling comfortable with being uncomfortable. So they just need to start grasping that it's going to hurt. You're going to sweat. It's not going to feel good all the time. But what usually happens is by the time you accomplish it all at the end, you usually feel pretty damn proud of yourself for what you've just done over the last period of time. So I really try to focus on their accomplishments through it as well because they, they're not always great on their some of their movements at the beginning. So it's really – so for someone like that too would also be, like I said, twice a week. They'd probably start with kind of lower reps to start with. I'd probably start kind of maybe – eight to 10 depends on kind of where they're at. And eventually I'll start throwing in some weights just to make it more difficult or a little challenge them a little bit. 
until I get some sense that they're really good at the, the basic moves. And then we start upping the ante a little bit just to keep it interesting. Otherwise, it's, it's boring because all exercises really fundamentally come from a set of very basic movements. Mm. It's what you add into yeah. it, whether it's challenging them from balance or adding two movements together instead of one, just to keep it interesting. So I will never do the same program with someone ever it's always going to have a small tweak to it. The warm up might be the same, some cool down might be the same, but the stuff in between, well, you're never going to do the same lunge in the same program back to back with me. Nice. Unless it's an nice. issue, it depends on if we're working through an issue that might be different. But I want, I think there's, you know, there's learning the basics, but keeping it interesting at the same time. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. So then usually what I do with these people too is I'll make recommendations around doing cardio on other days as well too just to try to get them moving because most of my clients seem to be their goals are generally around just more functional fitness so being fit more healthy for the long term sometimes that they might have short-term goals like i'm working on one myself or to, to do an obstacle course so i'm training in a very specific way right now for that right but um for the right. most part that it can be that general for most people that are just looking for general fitness okay okay awesome yeah right yeah. um and in terms of like, how do you find their mindset? Like, how do you actually kind of work on their mm -hmm. mindset? Because I know like, you know, you, you talked about how you actually, you know, make it interesting, yeah. how you actually increase the challenge slowly, how you just try and get them to, you know, just move. But how do you actually work on their mindset so they do commit, so they do actually, you yeah. know, carry on with the routines. They don't just stop and give up or they don't go back to the old bad habits with their nutrition and how yeah. they used to eat or not work out, etc. How, how do you work on their mindset as well? It, it depends. You have to assess everybody as an individual. And like I said, you have to meet them where they're at. So some people are willing to have go into a conversation about mindset right then and there. And some people aren't. So you just mm. have to kind of figure out where to start. And a lot of times, too, I invite everybody to follow my page on Facebook, which tends, it has a lot of mindset content on it anyway. So something tends to resonate there. And they might even ask me about it afterwards. But really, like I said, it's just kind of I just try to get in their head a little bit while we're working out. So it's just trying to get them to talk a little bit about their life and how this fits in and is it becoming a priority and do they look forward to their next work? So I ask a lot of things like that to get, it's, I think it was something like I talked about in that blog article yesterday too. It's about just changing their self-talk a little bit, being very positive and encouraging and making them look forward to the next workout because they know it's going to be different. So they're like, oh, what's she going to show up with? And she's going to show up with a different piece of equipment next week that I've never seen before. So it's just keeping it fun and interesting, I think, is a way just to get them engaged. And then you can start having more conversations around how this particular move influ or affects the goals that they want to get to. So you start having those conversations and they, they just start to open up more and more. And I think the longer you're with someone, the more you're able to kind of coach them along that journey and start having those conversations. But it just it depends on the starting point. It really does. So it's, I've often shared videos, like so several of the impact theory videos I've shared with people. It just really depends on where they're at. Nice. Nice. Awesome. Cool. Yeah. Wicked. And they don't always listen. Yes, books. They don't always listen. Yeah. But hey. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I know. I know. It's, uh, it's difficult to, uh, you know, show somebody the way if they're not willing to actually walk down the path with you. So yeah, no, I totally yeah. get that. I totally get that. I can awesome. remember, I can remember that from a very old inside quest episode. I can't remember who it was with, but it was saying you can't want it for them more than they want it themselves. Mm. So I just yeah. try not to expend any energy on that part of it. It's like, you know what, I'll show up and be here for you and I will try to encourage you, but you know, and I'm not going to, you know, ruin my life trying to fix yours if you're not willing to, come along so yeah yeah but that's about meeting them where they're at too so mm. it's a, you know when to invest when not to so yeah yeah and it's no it's knowing like when... and, and i think just showing up for them mm. honoring those as scheduled appointments i think is a big step to you just say hey look at i care about you so you know we're meeting here at the same point so let's look after you yeah yeah excellent yeah awesome awesome yeah okay um let's let's um talk a little bit more about your kickboxing class because i know you're very passionate about yes. it very very passionate about it. it yes <laughs> i know it, it does just a smile on your face right now it just says it yeah. all um can you just talk a little bit more about it like why is that so special to you i i think really it's because it's very empowering for women 
So most of the women that come to the class, not all, but the general majority of them tend to be probably in their 30s to 50s. Some of them are going through divorces. Some of them are just, they're just going through stuff mm. usually at this point for whatever reason, a marriage ending, a, a whatever, a job changing. And they just seem to find us for some reason and it becomes a really good outlet for them. And the thing that I love is when they realize how powerful they can be mm. as a woman. For whatever reason, mm. it just seems to get, it's, it's, it's just culture. It's just the way that we are brought up that we're often told we shouldn't be hitting and kicking things and getting all hot and sweaty and those kind of things. So I, it just, it, it just puts a smile on my face. When I see a woman walk into class for the first night and she puts on her hand wraps and she looks at me, she goes, I feel really badass. I'm like, that's kind of fun. And the fact that I can do this for people it, it just to see the transformation from day one, when they walk in terrified because they don't know anyone. And they're like, what have I just signed myself up for? I've never done this. I don't think I can do it. We've got people from, I've got a 13 year old up to people that are in their sixties. So oh, wow. it just, wow. yeah, it's incredible the depth and they all, I think we just create a very safe environment too. They like the fact that it's just women. Hmm. So for example, someone said to me the other day, she goes, I just feel comfortable that I can take my shirt, wipe the sweat off my face and don't care if my bra is showing. So it's little things like that. They just feel more comfortable for whatever reason. And it gives them an environment to work in with other women. So whether they're there for a social reason, because some of them are just their new moms, they've just moved to the area, they're trying to find a new outlet, or they're going through stuff. Because some of them said, you know, I couldn't get through my day if I didn't have this class. So it's just because I get involved with them too. I know what their goals are. I know who's getting married and who's trying to lose weight for this event and all those kind of things. And to help people open their eyes to this world, it's pretty incredible. So I feel privileged that I get to do it. Awesome. So it's a lot of fun and it's a great, it's a great workout. It completely changes your body that you, you know, coming from a martial arts background as well, mm -hmm. that it's a, it's a great way to work out that, that our class is just, is gone. Like those, those ladies work their butts off and they grumble at me some days and they swear at me and I don't care. It just makes me laugh. <laughs> but, it's, but they always, I, I said to them this morning, I said, they're the fact that they leave sweating, smiling and complaining about sore muscles makes me know I've done my job. <laughs> nice. Nice. Awesome. Yeah. So it's, just, it's a, it's a great environment to work in when you're, when you're working with people that are just happy, how can it not be good? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I, 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 I totally believe in that. I absolutely believe in the fact that, you know, if you are hanging around with the right people and if you're exposing yourself to the yes. right environment, yes. there's just no way how you can be down or depressed or sad or how you can let anything else bring you down like you're around a group of people who are constantly just uplifting each other and they're to support each other absolutely and there's just so much positive energy there like you're always on a high yeah. and it's awesome and this is part yeah. of the reason i think we're both part of the online community we're, we're both part of as well yeah. it's because you get yeah. that awesome stuff from there well, it's even been funny, like one of my, one of the ladies that comes to my boxing classes has now joined our Moonshot Experience group. Oh, wow. So she caught, she caught a post that I'd made because it's a public group, which is fine. Yeah. So she caught one of my posts because she was one of my friends on Facebook anyways. And she liked the group so much, she's now joined it. So oh, wow. <laughs> there you go. That's So that's it, it's funny how it all starts to meld together after a while. So it becomes very seamless. Yeah. Yeah, that's amazing. That's amazing. But I think that that comes from the fact that you were really trying to add value to other people and you're really trying to yes. be there for them. And I think that yeah. really touches people. I think so, too. Yeah, yeah. I think you're right. Yeah, because yeah. there are not a lot of people out there like that. They, they will be either yeah. talking behind your back, slagging you off or, yes. you know, they, they will be, uh, you know, they won't celebrate your victories with you. Um, they yeah. will try and put you down they'll make you know random comments and all sorts of other stuff and there are very few people who yeah. actually just generally cut are, those people out yeah yeah exactly they are the rotten apple then one rotten, yeah one rotten apple will make the whole barrel go bad so yeah. it's really important that you do that as well yeah I, and I, I stress this a lot in my in my you know video well, you stuff. said it in the opening about spending time with the five people that you know it, it's absolutely true mm. There's just, it's hands down an element of, it's just true. Yeah, yeah, it's super true. Yeah, yeah. I, I agree. And to be honest with you, I, I'm, I'm, when you surround I'm, yourself with a whole bunch of really great people, it's incredible the stuff that starts to happen. Yeah, yeah, so it's, yeah. yeah. You you really start to accelerate at, at a crazy, crazy rate. And, and yeah, you, 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 Completely. You actually, yeah, you start, you actually surprise yourself 
You surprise yourself. Well, and then you realize you can dream big. Oh yeah. You know, like I say that my ideal is to have a gym at my home. There's more beyond that too, but that if I get to there, that, <laughs> that stuff comes. So. <laughs> nice, nice. But it's about accelerating along there, and it's, I'm finding, you know, it's good to take the steps back, like we were saying before. I've taken a step back from the course, you know, took the time back from PT to do nutrition to be able to come at it at a different spot where it's more accelerated. I don't have to go through any more of the grunt work. I've, I've done it, yeah. even though I don't have to do it for very long because I'm able to learn from it. So it's not like I'm just starting out in that sense. I've got enough business background behind me and my health background and everything that I can take those small amounts of grinding and out of frontline level and just project it right up to something bigger. So I, I, I probably can already see my business going completely online because it's scalable that way. Wow. I can't do this on my own. It's also why I'm just invested in a system. Nice. Like I invested in a, it's a system called pro coach for the nutrition. So, well, it's actually for nutrition and for workouts to help automate some of that stuff. It's all about building habits. So it's all behavior habit based, which is exactly what we need. And I don't have to do the, I don't have to do all the sending. So I've invested in that already without even having clients to put into it. But I can't be there for everybody. Like I want to be able to touch lots of people. So it's better to invest in a system where I can touch lots of people at once. That's amazing. That's really without, amazing. without having to do anything in the background except pay a bill. So it's yeah, yeah, no, that's amazing. Yeah. But I can still co- instead I can add value at actual coaching hmm. versus delivering content. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. If that makes sense. Yeah. yeah, it totally makes sense. And that's really amazing yeah. that you actually yeah. just decided to go ahead and invest in that system um, because yeah. you believe in it so much. The fact that you'll be able to Absolutely. add so much value to people by by actually making it all automated yeah. and, and, you know, making it all online. And I think that's that sounds yeah. super exciting um, to me because, like, imagine imagine the possibilities. Like, it, maybe it's even hard to imagine oh, yeah. all the possibilities at this stage, but... Wow, that that's amazing that you'll be able to take everything well, you're doing right whole, now and go online with it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, because it's completely this program. I just believe in it 100 percent. Otherwise, I wouldn't have bought it. But um, it's just because it, it just gets at the root of a of a growth mindset. It's about building habits. Yeah. We always talk about that. It's not about having motivation or willpower. It's about building discipline, building yeah. habits. Yeah. And these things, these habits, just make sense. Yeah. Yeah. We've got to eat better and move our bodies more. We know that. We don't need to hear any science about why. Mm. You know that. Mm. We've all got our own reasons for it. But it's just, um, and so it's, I like it because I think it's a really unobtrusive way to start building some really solid habits. So I've, I've enrolled myself as a client too. So I'm going through the process as well. And we'll see how it goes. Awesome. <laughs> so That's great. So it's for everybody. It doesn't matter where you're at. If you're just starting out, you're much further down the, the path. We can all make improvements. Brilliant. Awesome. Yeah, I love yeah. that. I absolutely love that. And, you know, for people who are watching this, like it's I, I, there's, I'm going to actually touch upon one specific moment that we just went through it and, and what Tracy said. And it's just moments like that, which like get me super excited. And the fact mm-hmm. is, this is the precise reason that I started this channel. This is the precise reason that I'm actually sharing all this stuff with you. And this is the precise reason why I keep asking you guys to subscribe so you can actually stay up to date with all this awesome stuff. You can you know, be a part of these amazing moments. And what Tracy just said is absolute goal. What she said was, it's not motivation, right? It's discipline. Yeah. It's habits that gets you through. Motivation is just excitement. Like if you think about it, you, you know, buy something new, a, a, a new phone, a new toy, a new car, whatever it is, you're in a new relationship, whatever it is, new job, etc. And you're really excited, right? And that's it. You're motivated at that point because you're excited. Motivation is just excitement. When the excitement runs out, when it wears out, then what do you have left to kind of see you through? And at that point, the only okay. thing that will see you through are strong habits, are you know, things like discipline, okay? And things like perseverance, focus, you know, surrounding yourself with the right people so they constantly yeah. uplift you. Surrounding yourself with the, you know, exposing yourself to the right environment so you are, yeah. you know, constantly growing and learning new things. And that was absolute goal right there. And I just wanted to really kind of yeah. touch upon that. It was really, really powerful. And, uh, you know, this is the reason exactly why I actually expose you guys to the people that I'm in a relationship with because they are absolute world-class people. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm glad you made that a point too, because to me, motivation is absolute bullshit for the most part. Mm. Like you said, you can have, it depends on how you word it, but it will not get you through. Yeah. You can be motivated till the cows come home, but unless you're actually doing some action about it, it's just talk. Yeah. Yeah. 
absolutely yeah, you know like and i think it comes back it's all those things you said about surrounding yourself with the right people it also comes back to the thing too about goals and knowing why you're doing something so i can tell you like i've been doing strength training for about six years and i still have to talk myself through some workouts i was doing some lunges yesterday and i did not want to do them until i thought about yep your hamstrings are a bit weak. You know why you're doing this. You want to improve your flexibility. So just suck it up and get it done. I talk to myself like that constantly, even at this point, six years. In. And I love strength training. Yeah. I don't love every exercise, though. <laughs> fair enough. But I keep very That's focused on why I'm doing it. Yeah. I try to link it very much to why I'm doing this particular move, to what it links to with my goals. Now I'm, I'm training inside my head, and I've got much more knowledge than the average person. But that's why having a trainer can help you as well, too. But um, Yeah just to put that in there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but no, no, yeah, no. Like you, need people, you need people to help you along the way. And if that's what it takes, then do it. It's not for the long term. It's just until you get to the point, you can do it on your own. I had a trainer when I started. Hmm. I think I worked with him for about a year. So it's, um, yeah, yeah. And, and we all need it's okay help. to get help. <laughs> yeah, we, we all help. do. We need help along our journey. And, and the fact is like right now, you know, for people who are viewing this, you know, I've, I've said it before, I'm going to say it again. You know, you really want to get in touch with Tracy because guess what? You might not be in Ontario, but the fact is she is moving online. Yeah. She's moving to an online space. Yeah. It doesn't matter where you are. She'll be able to help you out, you know, forming That's those right. habits, help you with your nutrition, help you with your workouts, help you with your, you know, uh, accountability, like all that stuff to make sure that you get the results that you want. However, it all comes down to taking yeah. action. You know, life happens when That's you right. take action. All right. This is this is one of the things I absolutely believe in. Life happens when you take action. So I highly encourage you guys to take action. Reach out to Tracy. Start a conversation. And who knows? Who knows where it can go? You, you won't right. know though until you try. Okay. You miss 100% of the shots that you don't take. Okay, because you never even tried. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, no, absolutely. Please do reach out to Tracy. Um, she is phenomenal. She, I, like I said, she's been helping me, you know, with some of my stuff, some of my goals that I have, etc. Um, and it's it's been amazing. It's been really phenomenal. It's just solid concrete, down to earth advice that I can use. Uh, and I don't, I, I can, I can do workouts and stuff, you know, at home, right, in five ten minutes. Really basic, yeah. practical stuff that gets you results. So yeah, definitely, I would highly encourage you guys to reach out to Tracy and start a conversation. Yeah. Awesome. Um, I know how hard it is, so I know how to make it easier. Yeah. So yeah. I've been there. Like I was just thinking about as you were saying that. Like six years ago, I was over three hundred pounds. So I know, I know how hard it is. Yeah. Yeah. So it doesn't have to be as hard as you think it is. So like I said, just reach out, have a conversation. Happy to help. Yeah, absolutely. And, and the yeah. fact is, we talked about this, you know, uh, a lot in the previous uh, interview and the link is going to be below in the description. We can just go to the, the channel and check it out. It's, it's, uh, it's one of the yeah. first few interviews that I did. Um, and we talked about a, a, a lot about uh, that stuff right there. So, you know, you can you can go and check yeah. that out as well. And I highly encourage you guys to do that as well. OK, right. Awesome. Let's um, let's maybe uh, take it in a slightly different direction again. Um, sure. I know that you have been really passionate about, you know, becoming a personal coach and helping people with their goals, with their fitness goals, their life yes. goals, their health goals, their nutrition goals and all sorts of stuff. And for a long time, you were not able to take action on it. And now you actually just decided to go all in. Um, you just talked about the fact you just invested in a you know, system, a brand new system, um, and you haven't even put any clients, you know, don't have any ready clients to go yeah. through it, but you've invested in that system. And that's really yeah. powerful. That's really amazing. You know, you, you went from a you know, really good corporate job. You're now an entrepreneur. You're now, you know, yeah. uh, Tracy, you're, you're, you're now the, like the CEO, the founder of Scott Fitness. Yeah. And, and you're doing so much other stuff, collaboration projects um, and working with other people as well. Can you maybe talk a little bit about some of the challenges that you faced on the inside, but also the outside for when you were getting started mm -hmm. and how you were able to kind of deal with those challenges? I think that will be really, really interesting to know. Yeah, that's um, it. It was definitely... A, it's definitely a challenge to move from a corporate environment into doing something on your own probably because i i've almost paralyzed myself sometimes and go oh what's the process for doing that and i'm like wait a second i can invent whatever process i want because this is the way i want to do it mm. so as oh. much as you know I, I loved my job and i did great at it and things like that but what i ultimately it just at the end of the day i couldn't 
just work as a P&L anymore and worry about the numbers and how much profit was being made in certain sectors versus others. I, I get it. I completely understand it. I, com- I completely understand it. Um, it's just not for me anymore. I needed to do my own thing and just, you know, look after customers the way I wanted to and not have to worry about the dealing with the giant, massive ship I was working under. So it was, um, so yeah, it, it's challenging to leave that security of knowing that there's process to fall back on and other people that can help you out. But the, the freedom and flexibility has been interesting. Again, like I'm in a situation I don't have to worry about having to have enough money to pay my rent. So it gives me the time that I can probably enjoy it a little bit more than other people can, but whatever you find your hustle, you do what you got to do. And that's just my situation right now. So, but it, it, it's, it's funny. I think the thing I've struggled with the most is I don't feel as busy. If that makes any sense. I think it's just because it's, um, I try to, I make an effort to be very conscious in what I'm doing and to enjoy what it is that I'm doing. So if I'm working at 10 o'clock at night, I really don't care. I'm happy because it's something I want to do. Even if it's a minuscule task, like doing a report or something like that, I don't mind it because I know why it needs to be done. I understand the importance of KPIs and sales metrics and all those kind of things. So it doesn't bother me to do it. I like that there's no big system I have to work within to do that, to make sure it's done by a certain time for this person. And so the CFO can do this and all that kind of stuff anymore. But um but yeah, you kind of have to just, I think you have to be ready to um, dig into who you are and why you're doing it because it's not easy. It's um, people judge you as well too. Like I get, you know, I get my my neighbors and their kids sometimes going, why, why would you leave this big high paying job and you're just doing this and you're teaching some kickboxing classes. I'm like, but I'm so much happier. Like I, yeah. you can't explain that to a 15 year old kid, but because um, they don't get it. So, <laughs> and he doesn't get how I'm actually still using all the, education I have like certificates and degrees and stuff he doesn't see it but um yeah I think you just have to be very confident in yourself it doesn't matter if the business fails or you do something wrong or whatever it's just taking that it's the believing in yourself to know you can do it this is the way the world is going so people need to start waking up that a lot of jobs are going to disappear next 10 20 years I would think and just realize you're going to have to be in it for yourself and you're not taking care of yourself no one else is going to Mm. So the sooner you kind of find your spot and what problem you can fix in the world, I think the better. So, but it's, you know, it takes some having some confidence in yourself. So, you know, it's just doing it as a side hustle. Um, if, if there's something you're really passionate about, well, you've got some, you know, some structure behind you if you've got a job already. But if when you're ready, you just pull the plug and go. It's, I don't know. I don't know how to tell you how to get to that skill, but I think it, it's all those things we've talked about already. It comes back to those skills of turning those what you think are negative things into opportunities to move ahead. So it's just becomes a way that you work and it just takes time. So you can't wallow too long, especially if you've pulled the plug, you can't wallow long. You need to have some income coming in so you can keep going. Yeah. 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 And I think it's, um, it's really important for people to actually realize the fact that, you know, it's something that's, that's possible for you. And Tracy just touched upon something, again, really, really powerful. It's the fact is like, go find a problem in the world that you can solve, right? What yeah. problem that you can solve? Or the fact, you know, what is you're passionate about? How, what is it that you really, really enjoy? Now, it, you might be passionate about, I don't know, um, playing um, Mario all day long, okay? And that's, that's mm-hmm. cool, but like you, it might not be something that's transferable into a business, into a hustle. So, you know, then go and see, it, you know, what problem in the world is it that you can solve and go, go with that. So I think, again, that was really, really powerful. And I just wanted to highlight that for people who are watching this because um, that, that's some really, really, you know, solid advice there, some yeah. really gold there. Awesome. It's the only way to build a business you're fixing somebody's problem or doing something someone's not willing to do. So, you know, whether it's cutting grass, even if someone doesn't want to cut their own grass, then step in and do it for them. Make some money at it. Yeah. Yeah. Simple as that. Not everybody wants to cut the grass or whatever it is. There's a gazillion problems out there that we don't want to have to deal with. Yeah. 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 And, and, and some of the biggest businesses uh, like Airbnb just actually came about because they were just trying to solve a problem. Right. That's exactly yeah, right. Most companies have. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So definitely. Yeah. yeah. And you uh, don't even, and if you're going entrepreneurial, you don't even have to think that, that big. Like it's just, you're just trying to make your own life. So you're trying to make enough money to do what it is you want to do. Whatever it is, you're just not even about the money. It's just about doing what makes you happy. Like I make a fraction of what I was making 
as a corporate marketing job and I'm happier than I ever was. Mm. I got more time to do stuff. I've got flexibility to go meet a friend for a coffee if they call me in the middle of the afternoon. Not every day, but most times I can say, yeah, you know, I can be there in an hour. And it's just great to have that flexibility to be able to come and go as you please. And you still work hard. Mm. You still, still work some long days sometimes and there's stuff that has to get done, but it's so much more enjoyable and when it's on your own terms. Yeah. You can be as busy or not busy as you want. It's just, it's so much when you're doing it for yourself because it's just something you're passionate about and you're getting results and you're seeing it. It's fantastic. Awesome. Awesome. Like I would, I would teach kickboxing for free. I love it so much. I just need the money right now. So I, do. <laughs> so I accept yeah. the paychecks. Yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah. It lets me buy equipment to do other things and stuff like that. So <laughs> nice, nice. No, that, that's, that's yeah. so true. The fact that if you, if you love doing something and, you know, to the point where, where you're happy to do it for free. I mean, imagine the kind of happiness you would get when you actually get paid to do it, right? So why exactly. not? Exactly. Right, yeah, why not? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Um, okay, awesome. So let's um, let's change directions again because I, I, sure. I like jumping all over the place. Um, yes, I know. <laughs> <laughs> what are your future goals and, and um, what are you kind of, what are you hoping to build? You know, what, what's your end goal with, with all of this? Yeah, so my end goal is really, it's probably a couple of fold. It's to just get people moving for the most part, because at the end of the day, I think we can end metabolic disease if we just get people moving. The other stuff will come along, but I think it's easier to get one, someone to start going for walks than it is to get them to start eating healthy for whatever reason. I don't know. I think most people think that exercise will fix everything. It's not true. It's actually your nutrition that will have the biggest impact, but whatever. So I'm just a big believer in getting people moving, and I think the nutrition just comes along, and the habit, the lifestyle comes along with it. And I think it's really important because I think metabolic disease shouldn't exist. I think it's it's just it's lifestyle, it's culture, what's been laid upon us. And if we don't do something about it, I worry about our evolution as a species of what will happen to us. Hmm. So it's a big lofty yeah. goal at the end of the day. Like really at the end of the day, it does come down to affecting the way that we progress in this world. It'll be long after I'm gone, but um, I'd, I'd like to leave a, a much healthier path than what we're on. And I think people are – in general, waking up a lot to the stuff that's going on. I think you see it everywhere, little glimpses and pieces of it. And I think people don't need to be, I think part of it too is I don't think people need to be so overwhelmed by all the negativity. Mm. Yeah, there's a lot of crap in this world, but there's a lot of really good stuff going on too, and it will get better. Yeah. And I think it's not, yeah. I think part of what comes along with it is just, well, getting people moving, I think it's also a segue to get them to just enjoy their life and really do the things that they want to be doing. That's my segue into it. Cause I think it's, that's just the place I'm passionate about is just getting their body moving. So I think you can take someone who's in a very dark place and get that started. And it changes pretty fast if they're open to it. Yeah. So the rest yeah. comes. Cause I, I ultimately, I just want to see people doing what they want to do in this life and, yeah. and to stop complaining. Cause I, I complaining just really irks me. And I want people to stop having things to complain about. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. get really, I get a really short fuse around people complaining if they're not doing something about it. I just, I don't, I lose my cool a little bit sometimes. So. No, I, I totally get that, and uh, you're, you're yeah. absolutely right. I, I think uh, the hot button for me. Yeah, I, I think you know most of the people with a growth mindset do do get kind of worked up about it because like yeah. you know stop complaining. Uh, do something about it if you can. If you can't That's do something right. about it, then focus on move on. Yeah, move on. Focus on on the good move stuff that, that you have in your life. So yeah, no, I absolutely, yeah. I absolutely understand where you're coming from there. Um, and yeah. uh, you know, do, do you know Gary V? Yeah. Yeah. So that's one of his things, right? You know, just you know, yeah. Shut up and stop complaining. <laughs> do something. Oh, but, it, it just drives me nuts if you're if you're complaining about something, and then come up with an. It's like I said before, if you're complaining about something and find a solution to fix it all the power to you if you're complaining about it just to complain about it you're not you have no intentions of changing it just stop mm. it, my biggest one are people that complain about how busy they are with them their work their kids whatever it's like are you happy with your life i want to know are you thinking you know do you like your job do you like your kids what are they doing that's kind of fun mm. yeah i don't want to hear about the schedule because you choose that no you choose how busy you want to be so it's um you can you the words no if the word no does exist <laughs> <So>. <laughs> nice 
Nice. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Cool. Um, should we should we go through uh, some of the rapid fire questions? Some some quick fire questions. Sure. Because uh, uh, I I like throwing some of those in there because uh, you know I think I think that you sometimes the answers you get are quite exciting and quite awesome and and I like throwing okay. some of them in there. Let's do it. Okay. So first one. Um, if you were to be deserted on a desert island for a whole year, but you were allowed to mm. take three people, you could choose the three people you could take with you to be deserted with on a desert island. <laughs> Minus friends and family, who would you pick? Can I take my laptop too, though? And there's a reason why I'm asking that. <laughs> um, if you can find it. Because if I've got my laptop and I... On a desk. Can I take it or no? Well, you can take the laptop. As well, you I have an internet, internet connection. If you, can, if you can find an internet connection, yeah, that's, that's fine. Yeah, that's the only problem. <laughs> uh, who would I take with me? That, that's hard because I've got some pretty cool people I would like to spend a lot of time with. So a, it just can't be family. So that's fine. So well, I take my boyfriend for sure. Uh, no friends, and, um, no friends, or no family. Oh, no friends and family. No friends and family. No. You know what? I would probably, and this might sound a bit goofy, but I would probably take a few people. Right, guys, so there's a bit of a connection issue right there. Um, that's what happens with these kind of like long distance, long calls. Um, but mm -hmm. we're, we're back. It seems to be okay. And the, the, the question was, you know, if De Tracy wants to be deserted on a desert island for a whole year with three people that she could actually choose apart from friends and family who she would pick. And that's what Tracy is going to tell us now. Yeah, well, no, I said I'm going to take I'm going to take a few people out of our moonshot experience group because I can't take anybody that I would already take. So, yeah, I'm thinking right now, I think you, Chung, and Travis are the three that I probably connect with the most often at this point. And I think the four of us would have an absolute blast for a year on a desert island. <laughs> oh, my word. I, we'd all come off so and We'd have so many great discussions. It'd be crazy. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And, the four uh, of us are all very much into a lot of the same stuff. So, it's, <laughs> But with enough differences, that is quite, it would be quite interesting. <laughs> yes, yes, exactly. With enough differences yeah. to make it really, really interesting. And uh, I, yeah. I just, so there's I, my three. You probably wouldn't have expected that. <laughs> um, I, I actually genuinely want to say the fact that I I am really really honored to to be one of those people. Um, I seriously am. Like uh, that's uh, that's yeah. awesome. Thank you so much for um, for actually You're welcome. you know making me one of your your three people you want to be deserted on a desert island with. For that's awesome. <laughs> that is pretty awesome. <laughs> that is really really awesome. Um, so seriously, oh. no, thank you so much. The list would be long. There'd be so many people I'd want to take. It'd be so hard to be away from so many people for a year. But I know. No, I that's know. why I asked if I could have my laptop because at least if I could connect with people, it would still be good. So. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. I think that there are some really amazing people in, in that community, um, and uh, yeah, it, it would be it would be really difficult to not have them there because, like, come on, yeah. they're, they're just so amazing, such an amazing, you know, a group of people. But um, yeah, yeah, absolutely. But that was a good, that was a pretty good answer. And we put Kai in there too. We have to add a fourth one. Kai has to come too. Kai, and, and let's not forget Clement. Yes, as well. So the group is growing. Yeah, the group is growing. There Joseph, they so, all have to come. Well, the thing is that now you put included me on the list. I can bring my three as well. So, you know, I can put There you go. So I you can, can bring them. them. There you go. So I think we, we, could, just have, <laughs> <laughs> we could just have a dozen there people we go. On, that, uh, on the island just chilling out. Yeah. And we could all meet in person for the first time. So it's a... Yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Which I think will be fantastic. I, I love to do that sometimes. It would be. In person, yeah. Yeah. That'll be amazing. I love to do that. Okay. Um, all right. <laughs> let's uh, let's uh, let's go with the next one. Okay. Um, all right. Okay. Um, if you had the ability <laughs> to actually, um, you know, use the Force to do whatever you wanted because you're a Master Jedi, then mm -hmm. what would you be doing right now? Hmm. That is a really good question, and I love the Jedi reference. So it's, <laughs> I would really just like to get into some heads of people that I know and love and just open them up a little bit, open them up to the growth mindset and to the fact that they don't have to be stuck with what they think they're stuck with. Hmm. And again, it, it's, it's in friends and family. It's also getting into like my teenage nieces just to say, you know, university, maybe not the way to go, mm. that kind of thing. Yeah. So I'm getting distracted. There's a whole flock of like, like teenage geese walking by my back door. So. <laughs> <laughs> 
Nice. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, <laughs> it's okay. They were little babies the last time I saw them, and now they're all quite big. They're just floating by in the canal outside. So it's... No, oh, nice. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah, I get yeah. very distracted by stuff like that. So sorry. <laughs> no, that's okay. That's absolutely fine. Yeah. That's pretty cool. I, I think it's it's important to actually savor those little moments because I think they, they're I the think ones so who actually, too. Yeah, they're the ones who... You don't get to see that very often. There's probably like almost two dozen ducks sitting or geese sitting outside my window. Well, they're gone now, but, um, but you don't get to see that very often. So it's, yeah, yeah. Anyway, yeah. let's come back to your questions. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Okay. Um, all right. So next question is that what is your favorite failure? I'm going to say it's probably the toxic relationship that I went through as I think it's the one that I've learned the most from and gained the most from on the other side of it. Right. 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 As much as it sucked, but yeah, I think it was the thing that's made me very much on the path that I'm on now. So mm. yeah. Yes. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Cool. Um, and, uh, maybe one last quick one. Is, yeah. Sure. One more? <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Now, if you, um, if you were given a chance to get on a stage in front of 5 million people, what one message mm -hmm. would you deliver them? Hmm. I think it's going to go back, back to what, what I always preach, preach to start moving more. No matter where you are, I'm not sure if you can hear, yeah, you're not frozen anymore, but I think it is, it, it doesn't matter where you are, whether you're, you know, well down the path and move fairly regularly, but you can do something different. It's just, I think we just need to move more. We're too sedentary. Even those of us that are fairly active still probably sit too much compared to what we probably should. Even though it, it, it's a bit of a fact of life, I guess, with doing office work and stuff like that. But there's other ways just to try to find ways, whether it's standing desks, whatever, try to just move more because hmm. your brain's going to to flourish because of it as well. And and again, it comes back to looking after yourself by taking care of this body that you're in. Hmm. It's important. Yeah. If you don't look after it, it just nothing else. is. It, the rest of it doesn't really mean much. You can make all, all the money in the world you want, but if you can't, enjoy it you can't do good with it yeah yeah because you're stuck in your bed you're stuck in your wheelchair or using your scooter to get around whatever it's a, mm. yeah yeah very true yeah, so it'd be something related to movement would be most likely what it would be so awesome movement and kind of play try to make it more fun yeah yeah yeah, yeah. 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 awesome to try to enjoy it more to not make it not think of it as so much as work as looking after yourself and just enjoying it even though it's not comfortable but still enjoying it overall brilliant awesome yeah, well, that's what it would be. Yes, that would be my TED talk. <laughs> yeah, 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 brilliant. But there you go. There you yeah. have you have you have the kind of script yeah. related out right there. <laughs> yeah, brilliant. Okay, well, Tracy, thank you so much. Um, I just want to uh, actually ask, where can people go to find out more about your coaching business, more about what you're up to, um, and how can people connect with you? The best place really right now is through Facebook. So if you just find me by Tracy Scott, and I think it's the end of it is EST 70. So established 1970. Um, it's probably the best place. And then you'll find my, my Scott fitness page through there as well, too. It's probably the place I spend the most time at this point. Um, yeah, that's probably it. So find me through there. I'm sure we can add the link through here at some point yeah, and um, just reach out, just reach out. I can point you in the right direction from there. So it's some, um, Brilliant. Excellent. And uh, is there anything that, yeah. that people can help you with right now? Hmm. That's a good question. Really, I think people can help me by just getting on board with what it is I'm trying to do. I want to start getting people into my system so they can start helping themselves. So if anybody's looking, like if anybody is really, truly interested in starting to make some fundamental changes, like, you know, you're just kind of sitting on the fence for a while and you know you have to do it, but you're not sure how to start, reach out. Awesome. Just reach out. I'm happy to, to help. If, if, you know, if my program works for you, that's great. If not, we can just chat. Yeah. Yep. Awesome. And yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I've, I've, you know, 
said this before as well many times during this video and i'll say it at this point as well you know guys please do reach out i think you know tracy is an absolute rock star and she is always coming from a place of value she's really caring she's really kind and she generally just wants to connect yeah. and then you know add value to to you guys yeah. so you know reach out to her it it all comes down to taking action i'm going to put the all the links below in the description of the video for Tracy's Facebook page, her business, etc., everything. So please, you know, go there and reach out to Tracy. She's dropped some, you know, absolute gold on us. This conversation has been absolutely phenomenal and I'm going to be a little bit vulnerable here. I, I was having a pretty, pretty bad day uh, before I actually jumped on this call and, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm running on a high now and uh, it's, uh, okay. it's been, it's been absolutely phenomenal to, to actually have you here, Tracy. So thank you so much for taking well, the you know what? I'll echo that back to you because I told you when we first started, you asked me how I was. I'm like, I'm really tired, but it's, but it's physically tired. So I'm always engaged in these kind of conversations and it does help kind of revitalize you too, to, to be able to talk to like-minded people and, you know, just really be honest and open like you were saying too. So it's, it's nice to have that platform to be able to do it. So it's, yeah, yeah, absolutely. And yeah. guys, this is exactly the kind of reason why I, I keep asking you guys to subscribe to the channel so you can stay up to date with whatever is happening. And also to actually share these videos with somebody who's close to you, somebody who needs to share this, you know, hear this message, okay? Share it with somebody who, who actually um, might be stuck and, and they're, you know, suffering. They're going through some hard time and they need to hear these messages. They need to hear this positive you know stuff um, and they need to be connecting with these awesome people that are coming onto the channel and I'm exposing you guys to you know all the awesome people that I'm in a relationship with so you can start to accelerate your life and take on you know their strategies techniques tactics and 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 then just mm -hmm. start to apply them and they're all like you know the people who come on are really open and vulnerable and they don't hold anything back which is like amazing sure. yeah it's 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 fantastic and I really really appreciate you know everybody who I'm in a relationship with. And Tracy, again, thank you so much for being here. I really, really appreciate you. It's been, thank you. It's been absolutely awesome. And I'd love to have you back on once again. And uh, maybe we can- Of course. We can a, maybe we can do a round three sometime. <laughs> we can definitely do that. I'm sure probably by the end of this year, we'll be doing round three. So, it's like, exactly. so who knows where we'll both be by that point, so. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Awesome. Well, awesome. Um, Thank you, Tracy. And uh, guys, thank you so much, as always, for taking the time to share this time with me. I really, really appreciate it. And uh, until next time, stay awesome and hustle hard. I'll catch you next time. Take care. Bye. Awesome. Bye. Bye.